Welcome back inside the review here for another DC Universe Online video. I'm here with my boy King Ed of DC Universe Online fame. He's probably the best healer I've played with and he knows his stuff. Figured he'd be a great guy to come and give us all some clarification on what the stats revamp means for old and new players alike. What's good, bro? Yeah, nothing much, man. I appreciate the kind words. Maybe a little too kind, but you know. <laughs> truth, oh truth, oh truth. All right, so basically, when this whole thing started, they put out on the forums, the new developer here, he said, um, there were a few things that they wanted to, to get across with this stats revamp. One was obviously revamping the stats. The next was removing advanced mechanics and weapon mastery bonuses, enhancing supercharges, modifying power and power regen, removing power points, ending mid-range and preparing for the future so let's uh let's go one at a time and talk about what all of this means um revamping stats now what what's wrong with stats why do they think they need to be uh, revamped well the way things work right now there's something called cr differential and stat flattening in the game and what that essentially does is it makes it so that more so than any of your might or precision or even to the extent of defense for tanks or restoration for healers more than anything, the thing that matters is your combat rating. The pure number of that determines how much damage you do, how much damage you can take, and even as it was found out, how much healing you can put out is all based off of your combat rating more so than any of the other stats, and that is considered a bad thing. If I am 198 combat rating, I can do more damage than someone that is 197 combat rating even if they have a thousand more might than me through mods or set or you know skill points or pretty much any other way they're getting these stats, whether it's a league hall proficiency, that no longer matters because my CR is higher. Wow. So as far as I remember, there's what, over 300 skill points in the game right now? Yes, sir. I believe 330. 330 skill points. And basically, uh, what, around 200, maybe even less? is is even necessary right now because of combat rating differential well that is uh, indeed correct unfortunately wow so basically with revamping stats uh what they want to do is re removing the advanced mechanics and the weapon mastery bonuses as part of all of that um right now weapon mastery bonuses basically if you do the recommended weapon mastery there are a few per weapon the final move in uh in that sequence will give you a bonus the same thing with the advanced mechanic the final move will give you this bonus or if you set up the right pis depending on what power it is you have more damage going out and they're trying to remove all of that bonus stuff right correct okay so what was the problem with that why why, why does that have to be removed you see the problem is that just doesn't promote a very fun way of gameplay. It promotes what is called cookie cutter loadouts and very cookie cutter builds where back in the day when the game first came out, you can kind of do whatever you like, whatever play style, you can tailor a build to fit that and AMs and weapon mastery and all these stat, you know, uh, stat flattening and CR differentials kind of took that away. And it's more one fits all uh, what people kind of call one, two, three, boom, where it's whether it's mental, you hit one power, two power, three powers, pretty much any power, and then you hit mass terror, or if you want to do it from a range, mass levitation, and it just promotes this is the thing in every situation. It doesn't matter what your preferred play style is. This is outright what you do, and if you do anything else, you are wrong. Wow, so basically they're creating, or they created these cookie cutter things that anybody could just come in and do and in effect, everybody was doing the very same thing, making it boring. Yes. So, correct me if I'm wrong, this was not how the game initially um, tried to do damage, right? No, it was not. Okay, so when I started the game, I started day one, but I had no idea what an MMO was, and I played for a couple months, maybe it got like 10 characters to level 30, and I thought I beat the game 10 times. Um, after that, when you start to get into the content, there are so many different ways for you to do what you need to do as a controller, as a healer, as a tank, what have you. But as time went on, <clears throat> for whatever reason, maybe it was um, customers were, you know, going elsewhere or whatever the case is, they wanted to cater to the more casual crowd, I would say. So they wanted to make it easier for them to do the different roles. 
think that's accurate? Uh, yeah, I would say that sums it up pretty much perfectly. So I guess now they're trying to get back to uh, what it used to be, even a little bit. I mean, it's not probably it's probably not going back to the days of uh, that hyper hyper clipping. Now, maybe close to it, but we'll see. Um, all right, so let's see what we got here as far as skill points uh, goes. Um, according to the forums, skill points have received numerous upgrades and are now completely awesome. They consolidated all skill points that grants stats into one tree that no longer requires you to spend points into weapons to unlock. As you spend points into a particular stat, the bonus you get per point increases. So the more you spend into a stat is the more you get. Furthermore, you can choose whatever stats you want with very few prerequisites. So I guess the difference between that and on live now is that if you wanted to get to certain stats, you had to go through weapons that you probably didn't even want to use. Yes, sir. That is correct. Okay, so another thing that they're trying to do is uh, enhancing the supercharge. Um, not really sure why they want to enhance the supercharge specifically. Maybe, uh, do you think they're... they're uh, diminishing damage to the point where supercharges will do a lot more than they're doing currently so they'll they'll mean more uh yes yeah, so i do think that's what they're aiming for right now if you want to take something say like hard light um they have a supercharge known as strafing run back in the day you used to be able to throw that in and you knew it was going to hit for a ton of damage over time and it was going to be well worth it so long as whatever you were hitting was going to survive that hit and take the full damage it was going to give you a big increase on what you know your dan your damage output would be. Now, if you were to throw that same super into a hard light rotation, you would actually be hurting yourself because the AM or advanced mechanic is just going to do more consistent damage than it would be worth your time to stop for that super. Now, hopefully, the way supers are is you know you throw that super and you're like, wow, that was actually worth it. But at the same time, they don't want to make it so you're constantly having supers and just throwing them around like they're a part of your regular rotation. Right. right. Okay, that makes sense. So it, so it kind of seems that they're trying to bring back the, the play how you want to play kind of style instead of um, playing what you have to play in order to be relevant. Indeed. The next thing they were talking about, damage potential and balance. Um, damage and non-damage roles will be brought much closer to each other in terms of damage potential with damage still at the top of the heap, but not by the four to 10 times like they currently are. Um, apparently the reasons for this, um, and the most destructive reason, is that NPCs need to be incredibly powerful in order to maintain the DPS balance. And because of that, uh, you get NPCs that one shot, and you get um, <clears throat> content that everybody wants to just have pure DPS, DPS is in. Um, that chokes instance queues, so you know people can't can't get in. Um, I guess that provides widely varying performance between different groups of players. Um, but the fine tuning of damage and risk versus reward will be an ongoing process, according to them. Nothing is as ongoing, shall we say, as balance. They have been trying to balance weapons and powers. I mean, since I was a baby. You know what I mean? It's been pretty crazy as far as that's concerned. The time, the amount of time it's taken for them to to get to where they are now. But now they're removing the the mid range as well. Did you hear about that? Uh, yes, I did, and I actually think that's pretty great. Yeah. How? Oh, what's that going to look like? You think? I think the difference is you're going to get more damage for actually putting yourself in a risky situation. If you want to melee a boss you can do so. If you want to full range a boss and sit back with, say, hand blasters, you can do so, and you have those very distinct play styles. The issue now with the game is that for doing the exact same thing, but getting, say, a little closer using your hand blasters, for most powers, you can get more damage for being a little closer, even if you're not putting yourself in more of a dangerous situation. And that just doesn't feel right to the game that we're doing the same thing, but because you are standing a foot or two closer, you're getting more damage. So the idea of that mid-range 
is getting eliminated, and I think that could be nothing but beneficial just for the sake of, you know, you can really play. If you want to specialize at range, you can do so. If you want to specialize at melee and take that risk and get all that amazing damage, you can do so. Just understand, you know, risks come with that. You might die, and certain content, you want to adjust your play style. Right, risk versus reward. That, uh, that is the name of the game, it seems. And uh, as a side benefit, apparently, the greater consistency and simplicity applied uh, here will make it easier for the devs to refine damage on specific abilities in the future. On that note, they'll be addressing balance goals in a new way. Previously, balance was generally established based on players of equal skill doing about the same damage in uninterrupted play at a sparring target. That's how they decided if a power was balanced. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to be established based on players of equal skill doing about the same amount of total damage over the course of a boss fight, which I think makes more sense because that, uh, that gets those variables in there. You know, I think that's a pretty good idea. We'll see how that works though. Um, what else? Modifying power and power regeneration. Um, as of, when did the penultimate thing drop? I want to say that was Friday. Friday night, yes, sir. So, as of as of that, at least, I'm not sure about before, but they're removing power as its own stat altogether, yeah? Uh, I'm not 100% sure altogether, but I do know that they did merge it skill point wise with might, so that before in the earlier builds of this stats revamp, you had to spec power if you wanted to regenerate your power, and that kind of caused some issues with. Uh, what is known as play from the tray style where you're predominantly using your powers some players at you know certain skill levels will maybe throw in some rifle taps in between something simple but keep the spirit of true play from the tray uh, as true as possible and it was very difficult to build into might because controllers could not even keep you powered up running two or three controllers could not carry the weight of having to deal with all the power output from all the other damage players and it just built an issue so players had to start building power and then that gave them less damage through might and it kind of felt like well if i can't spec both because even with all the skill points in the game right now you really can't spec both i believe it would take about 350 to build full might and full power at least in the earlier builds and that there's not even that many skill points in the game let alone the 60 for crits and whatnot your points for weapons so that just wasn't a viable solution so now what they've done is they've kind of made these merger styles where if you want to build might you are also getting the power benefits and you don't have to worry about having you know more skill points than you could possibly have okay now <clears throat> from the beginning i believe this started with uh version 1.0 or 1.1 uh, with the stats revamp, and they've they put out bills. People have done their testing, gave, given their feedback uh, from everything from the powers to the content itself. And then with each build, they have uh, implemented some changes based on feedback and based on what they have seen. And now they're at uh, revamp 1.7, which they have called the penultimate uh, build, which means that <clears throat> the next build will be the final build. And that also means that we will be getting a live version of this very soon. So with that in mind, they put out a stats revamp cheat sheet. Now, what they say is on track, meaning this stuff is moving ahead full steam. There are uh, very little problems, if any. They have removed the combat rating differential. Uh, they have adjusted where player stats come from and they have smoothed the progression. They have adjusted the NPC stats They've revamped skill trees, skill points. They've removed the advanced and weapon mastery bonus damage. They've removed power points. Um, they've updated all power sets and they've enhanced supercharges and supercharge builders. Now, what's under review, ongoing things that they're still really working on here is balancing the power sets in the post advanced mechanic weapon mastery world. Um, Balancing and adjusting roles to account for the new stat numbers. Balancing playstyles, the new hybrid weapon playstyle, playing from the tray. And adjusting ability cooldowns and power costs. Also, content bugs and power set specific bugs. But a lot of this stuff is going to get addressed uh, with play from the, the, the player. Even when this goes live, there's going to be a lot of um, feedback 
and we might see some changes after after that. One thing that a lot of people were concerned about was crowd control. Did you see that uh, DPSs would be getting back a little bit of the crowd control that they lost in previous builds? Um, I do think this is fantastic, actually. Uh, I believe this will be really helpful for powers like Hard Light and Atomic and Celestial that require combos, and getting interrupted out of those combos is a huge loss in damage. So something like you know, extra crowd control protection and reduction, I think that's gonna really help out those powers in the long run. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I can't wait for that myself because a lot of people were concerned that solo and duo content would be way more difficult than it needed to be because they took away um, some of the crowd control features from the, uh, the DPS side of the powers. Now, uh, let's see. They renamed the uh, play from the tray style to power mastery. It's going to be three masteries now: the hybrid mastery, the weapon mastery, and the power mastery. So look out for that in, in tool tips and things like that. You're going to basically be specking into what you want to uh, to master. Um, so you're going to have a lot of options here. But all of this is is academic, right? We want to know how is this going to affect me. So let's say. I come in, I'm creating a new character. I have played the game before. I, I know how, how the level, uh, leveling up of the Brainiac ship works and skill trees and power trees, all of that. So what's gonna be different when I create my new character now and, I, and I'm going through the ship? So for the most part, things will be very similar as you're leveling up. The leveling up process isn't changed too much. Um, what you're really looking at here is the end game um, once you reach level 30 or maybe in the mid to higher 20s, you're going to want to start looking at what kind of a player do I want to be? Do I want to specialize in weapons and go for a precision build? If so, you now have the option to spec into the weapon mastery tree and you know you can kind of get that extra weapon damage. And for a while people were very concerned with this type of a playstyle because people thought simply, well, why would I want to do that when I could just be a dot power and still have my dots going, say nature, just kind of throw dots, spread them, and that's just going to be better while I can be doing my weapon attacks, you know, what would be the point of just weapons? But now you have that option where, you know, your weapon damage will outright be more powerful when that is what you are doing. The same thing kind of goes for play from the tray where it was, if I wanted to be a true play from the tray player and just kind of throw powers and have spam abilities and things like that, I don't want to have to do these rifle taps in between or use weapons in between. And that was kind of a hairy issue where if you wanted to play from the tray, you were still forced into at least that rifle tap. Now you don't really have to. Will that still net you maybe a little more DPS? Yeah, sure it will. But at the end of the day, it won't be anything overly substantial where you have to do this. You can kind of do that, regenerate your power, and be good to go. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So most of this is... Besides the uh, removing of the power points, because uh, as you know, when you're when you're leveling up, you even before twenty, you do get power points and you you place them into the first tier of powers and things like that. Besides that, you know, being gone, because what's going to happen now is you're just going to get abilities from the uh, the varying powers that you have automatically as you level. Besides that, you're really looking at the end game here. You really, as Ed was saying, you're going to decide what, what you want to do, how you want to play, and that's uh, it's far closer to what I remember in the earlier days of, of DC, instead of all of this cookie cutter nonsense that's going on right now. Uh, be that as it may, obviously the proof is in the pudding, and we'll have to wait until the final version gets on test and, and thereafter on live. Uh, that should be interesting. Um, I wouldn't say, what, maybe end of the summer, you think, Ed? They'll drop this? I mean, I know there are a lot of testers that are hard at work who, a buddy of mine actually doesn't sleep anymore. He uh, <laughs> spent two or three straight days up testing this since it came out. And I know they're trying to get things going as quickly as possible. For what it's worth, we might even see it mid-July, maybe before even August, if everything goes well. I mean, if there are issues that may put it off more towards end of summer, maybe towards September, but... I mean, yeah, we could very well be looking at a mid-July release for this, maybe even earlier. Interesting. That'll be beautiful. Now, we've just gone over this, you know, generally speaking. We wanted to, you know, those people who may not read the forums to get a, a basic idea of what's going on. Um, but there are far more details 
here i advise you to go check out the forums uh even for the roles you know the, such as tanks like they're trying to make them so that you can choose between turtling or being active as a tank now you can check that out in the uh the stats revamp cheat sheet there. So there's a lot of details here that you wanna you wanna uh, be up to speed on. Well, we'll definitely get some more info out to you as uh, as we get it. I wanna thank King Ed from DCUO for his time and his knowledge on the subject. Uh, I hope I will see you in game pretty soon there, sir. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know uh, you've had your busy schedule and uh, you know, it's kind of a, there's been a hole in my heart without you, friend. <laughs> I appreciate that. I've been missing you guys, too. Anyway, guys, I am Neo Sanguis on game. You can catch me there at the U.S. server. This is King Ed, as I said before. Um, and we will see you next time inside the review. <laughs>